My name is Vincent Rouquette Catala, if I say it with my real French accent. I'm with uh, Marcel and Eben House, with like Happy Face, and my buddy Natalie Gibb. Pretty excited thinking of like the massive, huge passages we stopped last time, and they are just waiting for line. It's what they want. They want line. They want, line. They want lots of line. So today was our first day exploring. It didn't start well. <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. We were able to meet up with our friend Peter Sprouse and he's got a couple big leads for us. And one is here, which is absolutely beautiful on land. It was not so easy underwater indeed. Um, the cave is generally very unstable as well. It was pretty, pretty tricky today to even find the entrance. It was either dissolving in my hand and emitting a strange gray white dust or, or just the rock was not fixed to the floor and it was very challenging for me to run the line in a correct manner. There was one area that a few tie-offs in a row are much more stable and there seems to be bigger openings actually to the size of the tunnel that we explored today and I think that's a good place to start for the next dive. Uh, this cave I decided to name the Dagoba, which is uh, Yoda's uh, planet. The planet is, is uh, living in exile on, and it's a very swampy place, and it has a lot of bugs, so it just got inspired and called this place Dagoba. Dagoba. So today we're going to get on a boat and take it far along the coast and scout out some outlets. Yeah, we're going to be sunburned and coxie is like a pretty heat but it's going to be pretty exciting to be back on this area right so our butts are gonna hurt very much i really really hope we find something and if we don't we're going to come back with answers anyways which is pretty much the point of exploration right one way or another we learned something new about, about the, the world. world so we found like a small hole actually vaquero found it uh, the entrance was so tight that I had to rub my shoulders on it actually to have a look down. Just with my underpants, red, and yellow fins, matching colors. I would like to try to go back first, like to make the entrance a little bit bigger. And I kind of think there is something way deeper there. We were actually right because everywhere that we pinpointed does have fresh water. A lot of locals know cenotes in the places where we marked. So it's not over yet. We have to get some contacts and check these places out. I ended up going back to Dagoba and right before surfacing, I actually checked another lead uh, next to the entrance which is a lot more promising, but uh, since I was getting low on gas, I did not go very far and we have to go back. So I'm hiding in the bathroom because the guys are really loud but I literally just had one of the best dives of my entire life. We got there around 3 p.m., nothing else was working out, so it was really sort of a stressful day. The beginning of the dive was a total disaster. It was really silty, communication was bad, and Vince got so angry he just left the dive. But Marceline and I continued, and I had seen a lead, and we followed this lead to the northwest, and all of a sudden I found a crack in the floor and I went sideways down this crack. I dropped about 20 feet and found myself in bright blue saltwater passageway with super stable cave and 
decorations and weird black clay on the floor, no microbes whatsoever, and it was phenomenal. We laid only about 250 meters of line in this passageway, but we're gonna go back tomorrow, and I can't wait. I just found the main cave passageway. We went to check out some holes in some nearby lagoons and we couldn't find them. The first thing that happened was we got lost in the mangroves looking for the actual entrance to the lagoon. We went back and forth and back and forth where the hole was supposed to be and we couldn't find the hole. We had to look for people to try to get some explanations about where it was. And the explanation sent us back exactly on the same spot. If there are plenty of fish in a cave, we should not ask fishermen about the place. Because the fishermen don't want to give away their fishing sites. After we failed, the next thing we did was we went back to Dagoba and the crack I found the other day. We went down to the saltwater passageway and I love this place so much. It's my new obsession and you hated it. What I didn't like about the cave uh, was this zero visibility layish thing. It's a super threatening cave. It's a twisty labyrinth and it's really challenging, but I find it intriguing. On the fifth day of the expedition, Jorge and I walked to the well on somebody's property and there was very clear water, but no going cave. After that, we went back to the horse ranch and continued in Dagoba. I asked the cave the permission to be there. And I started the dive super relaxed. I found a big lead pretty quickly. And I absolutely understood why you love the place. I found two different branches that I don't think continue, but were very beautifully decorated and I finished going up a room through hydrogen sulfide and found crystal clear water. And I think that the fresh water here is layered on top of hydrogen sulfide, which is layered on top of salt water. So today we had our last adventure of the trip. We went back to the lagoon to check the holes. So to get the boat to the lagoon, we had no trailer today. So we first needed to find a pickup big enough to have the boat like kind of laying on the back of it. We had to put someone in the boat for the boat not to fall off the truck anyways. Probably not the safest way to take the boat down to the water. And once we were there, uh, Lalo, uh, a new friend, helped us to find the hole because he knew about it. I put the tanks on right away because the visibility was super low. It was siphoning very strongly. There was no way to get in more than a body length without uh, compromising safety. So at the end it was a, it was a good day and we ended talking to the people around here. Potentially, if people start to get interested in the cenotes and the water and their fresh water, maybe there will be a way to start conserving that. And now it is time to eat. <laughs>